right, James. Leslie, looking beautiful. Dylan, looking handsome. Okay, here we are. Dearly beloved, we meet here today to witness a sacred ceremony, the union of Dylan and Leslie. With great reverence, we come together to celebrate the love and devotion shared by these two children of God that stand before us. As the Bible reminds us in Corinthians, if I have the gift of prophecy and can phantom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. Over the course of the relationship, Dylan and Leslie have developed a strong bond based on shared values and mutual respect. With a solid foundation from which to grow, they have made the decision to take the oath of marriage and spend the rest of their lives together. Let us revel in the joy and love on display here today. May we treasure these memories as Dylan and Leslie, under the eyes of God, get set to begin their new life together. Marriage is a venerated institution and one deserving of deep reverence. Today we observe the union of Dylan and Leslie in holy matrimony, a commitment they have chosen to undertake with all the sincerity that it warrants. Dylan and Leslie, as you learn to live as one, you will encounter many challenges that can help you grow. Spend time doing the things that make life precious. Cooperate with each other and always make time to laugh together. And never lose appreciation for the love that you share. Remember too, to adhere to the vows that you will make today. Seek strength from each other. Give hope to each other and let your trials help you grow together. They say love can build bridges and climb mountains, and they're right. You will find that as it grows and matures over time, your love for one another will prove both fulfilling and empowering. Yes, there will be challenges in life, but the strength of your bond will offer you protection against life's storms. Always make your relationship a priority and continue to nurture each other. Through a commitment to love and with the power of faith, together you will be able to navigate any obstacles that come your way. Under the eyes of God, I solemnly bear witness to these matrimonial proceedings. I will now finalize the sacred, sacred covenant you shall both enter into on this day. The rite of marriage is an ancient institution, an important ritual that binds two people together for the rest of their days. Today, as you form this union, you're choosing to take a vow that is as sacred today as it was to your ancestors. The Bible makes note of the power of partnership. It reminds us that two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can we keep warm alone? Dylan and Leslie, I invite you to express your sacred vows to one another. Please face each other as you declare these vows before God in the presence of your family. Dylan, I, Dylan, take you, Leslie. I, Dylan, take you, Leslie. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to keep you by my side through good times and bad. I promise to keep you by my side. Through... For richer or poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I vow to stay true to you. I vow to straight stay true to you. Honor you. Honor you. And love you for the rest of 
my days until death do us part. I love you the rest of my days until death do us part. <laughs> Leslie, now is the time for your promise. I, Leslie, take you, Dylan. I, Leslie, take you, Dylan. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to keep you by my side through good times and bad. I promise to keep you by my side between good times and bad. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I vow to stray, stay true to you. I vow to stay true to you. Honor you. Honor you. And love you for the rest of my days. And love you for the rest of my days. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Dylan and Leslie, please join hands. Under the eyes of God, Dylan, do you take Leslie to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to support her completely and love her unconditionally so long as you both shall live? I do. Under the eyes of God, Leslie, do you take Dylan to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to support him completely and love him unconditionally so long as you both shall live? I do. Very well. Let's proceed. <laughs> It is now time to exchange the rings. The circle formed by each ring is a symbol of your love and eternal commitment to each other. May these rings remind you always of these sacred promises you made to each other today in the company of your family. Dylan, you're gonna go first. Please repeat after me as you place the ring on the hand of your loved one. There's James. I, Dylan, give you, Leslie, this ring. I, Dylan, give you, Leslie, this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love and commitment. And the eternal vows we have made today to each other. And the eternal vows that we've made today to each other. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Leslie, your turn. I, Leslie, give you, Dylan. I, Leslie, give you, Dylan. This ring. This as ring. a symbol of my love. This ring as a symbol of my love. Commitment. Commitment. And the eternal vows we have made today to each other. And the eternal vows that we made today to each other. With this ring, <laughs> with, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. <laughs> by the power vested in me, by the state of California, and by the Universal Life Church, I pronounce you. Dylan and Leslie as husband and wife, lawfully wedded before God. Dylan, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I officially present to you Mr. and Mrs. Chavez. Thank you.